Hey there everyone, Filcho here and welcome to my channel. Today, I will be talking about the mythical dino egg which can be quite elusive to find in Sardo Valley, but it has so many uses. In this video, we will cover all of the ways to find a dino egg and all of its uses as well, so you know what you're looking for and for what reason. For the longest period of time, this was the most hard to find item for many players, leaving their museum collections unfinished. But with the 1.4 update, they added more ways of getting one dino egg. But before we begin, don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more content like this. So without any further ado, let's begin. It can be quite frustrating when you want to complete the whole game and the museum collection is lacking an item and you can't find it no matter how hard you try. And for many players, the dino egg was the item that was preventing them from completing their museum collections. The dino egg in the game is special and it has so many uses, as well as ways of getting one in the game. So let's first start off the video with the ways you can find the dino egg. The first way to find a dino egg is with the incubator. And for this you will have to already have found an egg already. You will afterwards put the dino egg in the incubator and in a couple of days you will get your very own dino. After it hatches, every 7 days your dino will lay a brand new dino egg, which you can just clone it again in the incubator, starting off your very own dinosaur empire. The next way to get a dino egg is by digging through artifact spots. They can have a variety of things in them, but if you dig up any artifact spots in the mountains or the quarry, there is a 0.6% chance that you can find a dino egg there. Because the chance is really low, you need quite a time to find a dino egg, but never give up. Maybe the next time you dig through the mountains, you will find one yourself. The third way to get the dino egg is by just slaying the monster which was introduced in the 1.4 update and that was the Pepper Rex in the Skull Caverns. You can find this randomly on any level and by killing one you have a 10% chance in finding a dino egg. And by using the Burglar's Ring and Monster Mask combined you will have an even better chance in getting one. Since the Monster Mask boosts the monster numbers on a given floor while the Burglar's Ring has a random chance on duplicating a monster drop. Following the Pepper Rex, the fourth way to get a dino egg is by stumbling upon a prehistoric level in the Skull Caverns. These floors can show up randomly on any floor in the Skull Caverns, and they consist of Iridium Bats, Mutant Flies and a lot of Pepper Rexes, which increases your chance in getting a dino egg. On these floors, you can also find items that you can forage as well, such as fiddlehead fern and dinosaur eggs as well. So you should always explore these levels fully so you don't miss any dino eggs lying around. The fifth way of getting a dino egg is by fishing up treasure chests. Treasure chests in fishing can get you some pretty nice items, but also that depends on your luck. The items you can get from treasure chests are dependent on multiple factors and that is the area you're fishing, how far you've cast from the shore, your fishing level and daily luck as well. The chance for finding a dino egg in treasure chests is around 0.8% which can be quite low. Combined with getting a lot of junk items and fish only, you need a lot of tries and luck in getting the dino egg from a treasure chest. And the last way in finding a dino egg in Stardew Valley which is a really random way to find one, is by going through the crane game in the theater. You unlock the theater after completing the lost bundle, which will give you access to the crane game. The crane game is really weird, where you can win a lot of items and some are secretly hidden behind the bushes, just waiting for you to find them. One of the items you can find is the dinosaur egg, which is hidden behind the bushes, so you should always make sure to check them on your tries for the game. Now we will be talking about all of the uses of the dino egg starting from the main one which is written in its description of the egg when you first find it and that is to donate the egg to the museum. But a few items that are needed for your museum collection can have more value for the player first and the dino egg is one of them so you should hold on to your first dino egg taking us to its second use which is incubating it. 
by putting the dino egg in the incubator. You can get your very own dinosaur after 12 days if there's any room in the coop. Dinosaurs lay eggs every 7 days from which you can start farming your dino empire and a steady supply of dino eggs for other uses as well. The next use for the dino egg is the mayonnaise maker, where you can craft a dino mayo which you can sell for some nice gold. The dino mayo is worth 800 gold at its base price and 1120 gold with the artisan profession. The dinosaur mayonnaise and egg can both be used in tailoring as well, since you can turn these products into a really cool suit. The dino egg is used to make a dinosaur hat, while the mayo is used to make the dinosaur pants, and with this you will be ready to lead your dinosaurs in your farm. The dinosaur mayo has one more use, which is an item that is needed for the missing bundle in the abandoned Georgia Mart to unlock the theater. The last use for the dino egg is by just simply selling it for gold. You can sell the eggs for some gold, but it's much more worth it to turn them into mayonnaise if you like to make the most out of it. Each egg has a base price of 350 gold, which increases with the higher quality of egg that you can find. So those were the main uses of the dino egg. There are a few other ones that are player based, which is by using it as a decoration or something else, but those are left off on the player's choice. We also have a really special way of getting one dino egg. This is for all of those players that are really unlucky in the game and can't seem to find one after long periods of time. The way you can get the egg is by using a glitch. This isn't a way that I would use to get an item on a normal playthrough as I lose the sense of accomplishment in using a glitch to my advantage. To get the egg you first need to go to Marnie's place and buy any animal that she sells. When you need to buy it, you just name it 107, which is the ID number of the dinosaur egg, and the egg will magically appear in your inventory, from which you can get your very own dino. I had to feature this as well in the video for some people, because it can be their only hope in getting one, since sometimes the luck in the game doesn't work in your favor. So that's it for the video. What do you think? Which is the best way in finding a dino egg, from your experience, because even by knowing the ways, you're still bound to the luck of the game. And would you use the last method to in getting one, if all else fails? Feel free to let me know down below. In any case, thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like the video. I also have a Discord channel that you can join so we can get to know each other more. I hope you have a great time and I will see you all in my next one. But till then, stay safe.